Hey guys, welcome back to the next video in the SkyMaster F18 build series. Um, if this is your first time here guys, or you haven't done so yet, you can support the channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. When you do hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And additionally, to support the channel, give the video a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm going to go into uh, servo programming here as well because we need to set this, uh, this servo up for the primary flap. So um, every XBus servo that you get comes pre-programmed as a throttle servo. Okay, so this, this is brand new out of the box. Um, we'll plug it into one of the slots here. Again, your signal wire goes towards the top. Don't mess that up. Doesn't matter where we plug it in. So just because we'll plug it into number eight. Okay, so you can see on the throttle stick that makes this servo work. So everything, whether it's uh, a servo, whether it's a PWM converter, Okay, so this converts the X bus signal into standard servo signals. Okay, now these have been pre-programmed for these channels, but if you were to buy the uh, converters, they come pre-programmed as a throttle channel. Okay, so we want to basically program this to be our flap. So let's figure out which one we want to do it as. So this is our left, uh, left wing. And we'll call this flap number one because that's our primary flap. Okay, so looking at the menu here, our left flap number one is channel 11. Now when I move the switch, right now nothing's happening because we don't have any, uh, any angles or distances or anything, sorry, any travel adjustments set up for a flat menu. Okay, that's why those aren't moving. But I want to make this into a, a number 11 flap. <clears throat> so we're going to go into our X bus menu. X bus. If you had two pro, uh, servos plugged in here right now, I'm not entirely sure what would happen, but I think it would reprogram both of those servos. But uh, to my knowledge, you can only have, if you're using the receiver to program it and the radio, you just plug in that one surface and that's how you program it, okay? So what we're gonna do is go into servo converter. Okay, so right now it's channel one to one. Okay, so what we wanna do is, so this is channel one one. We want to change the ID to be channel 11. Okay, left flap, number one. And then you could also program up to four servos on that channel. Okay, so if you had a, a flap set up that needed two servos, you could only, you could basically do it with one channel, so this channel, but you could have um, servo number one as sub number one, and servo number two could be channel 11, sub number two, okay? <clears throat> so what we wanna do is we wanna set that, and you notice it says success. So now, this servo is no longer a throttle servo, it is linked up to channel number 11. Now, you can take this servo, and you can plug it in anywhere you want, let's put it in channel number one, Okay, and it's not a throttle servo anymore. It is just channel 11 servo. Now there are a lot more options on here, um, so we can reverse the servo. So let's just see what we need to do with that. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to go into the flat menu. <clears throat> and we're going to set some travels up. So with this stick all the way forward, our flaps are off. So this servo, we want pulling towards the front edge of the wing. Flight 
Flight mode zero. Flight mode zero three. Flight mode zero one. Okay, so right now, and this, this isn't really going to be super important on this flap. It might be important on the other one. So right now, everything's backwards. So what we could do is we could go into that XBus menu and we could reverse the servo. So let's do that, just so I can show you guys what it looks like. <clears throat> now, when you go back into this, it's going to automatically go to channel number one. Now what we need to do to change anything, because we don't want to change the ID anymore, we want to go to channel number 11. And we can reverse the servo. There we go. Now the servo is Flight set up properly. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it that way just because uh, it's going to keep things simple. And when we set the other wing up, we may have to reverse the servo or not, okay? Now, you also have all these other adjustments on the XBus menu. You've got your neutral, you've got your travel adjust. And I want to set this, sorry. So now it's been programmed. You always want to make sure you set it, otherwise it's not going to program it. Okay, you've got all these different features. Now, if you go on the DeForce Aviation website, they've got some pre-programmed uh, um, suggestions on some of these servos. So these particular servos that we're using on the elevator and the primary flap are the 8911s, XBus programmable. They're not the, uh, these are the coreless servos. They're not the brushless servos. Um, I think on the brushless ones, they've got some pre-programmed suggestions. So you could add different different stuff in here, damping gain, hold gain, all that stuff. So anyways, there's lots of different things that you can adjust. Um, I love the slow start feature of these uh, XBus servos. It's awesome. I've got them set up on my ultra flash. So when you start and uh, you, your flaps are drooping and you're at uh, zero flaps, you can actually see it just slowly go back to normal or to the, to the setting it's at. So very, very cool feature. But uh, that's how we program the XBus um, servos and uh, on a 28X radio. Now on the other JR radios, it's going to be a little bit different, but same kind of, uh, kind of theory. Now the nice thing is when we have these things set up on XBus, um, as an example, we've got the wire, um, the wire loom coming off the wing into the connector, we're going to use a um, one of the uh, the multi connectors. Um, really, it actually doesn't matter where those plug into. So if you've got, uh, let's say, your flap servo on this part of the connector um, coming off the receiver, I mean, it, there there is no designation to it, right? So it's actually a really really neat setup just because all of the uh, the information for the servo is set up in the servo. There are some unique things you can do with XBus, and we're not going to do it on this plane because we, it's, a, it's a very high voltage plane, so we want to have a direct connection coming from the controller to this uh, servo. But as an example, you could have this... Um, you could have this... XBus port set up on a standard receiver and this XBus port could travel to the back of your plane and then all your servos just plug into the XBus port um, and again you have to remember that that all of the information is is held in the servo not the receiver so I know it can be a little bit confusing but uh, it is a very very neat setup and uh, very cool technology that pretty much any radio system can use now. So anyways, guys, this has been programmed. Um, and uh, hopefully that helps you out if you're doing any XBus setups. Thanks for tuning in, guys, to this episode of the Skymaster 1 5.75 scale F18 build. Uh, if you guys have not done so already, please support the channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. 
When you do hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And I'll also give the video a thumbs up. That all helps with the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys do have any questions, don't forget to post them down below in the comment section or you can shoot me an email as well. So thanks guys for tuning in to this episode of the build series for the Skymaster F18. We will see you in the next one.